I want to hear your assessment. I want to hear what happened. Give me a grade. What was my grade? Oh, oh, you get an A plus. You get an A plus. Okay. okay. What you like? A, okay. Thank you. It's now been two weeks since Nichelle Watkins shared her story with Project Baltimore. They didn't want to leave, of course, and that's normal. And in those two weeks, her life has changed. You have hope. I do. I do. Did you have hope before this? No, I didn't. Watkins' son, Logan, is in fourth grade at Johnston Square Elementary, which a Project Baltimore investigation found is one of 23 city schools where zero students who took the state math test last year scored proficient. I feel like they don't care. It's not their children. They don't care. Following that story, Watkins came forward pleading for help for her son. He can't read. He's in the fourth grade. Look around. I'm in public housing. I can't afford no thousand dollar tutor from Sylvan. But that's what he need. A tutor. He actually read the paragraph the first time. And that is what he now has. I have so many people reaching out. I mean, it's been crazy. Watkins' story triggered an outpouring of support. Numerous tutoring services, including Sylvan Learning, contacted Watkins offering free tutoring for Logan. Two viewers came forward, each offering $1,000 to pay for tutoring services. A local private school has offered Logan free tuition. Now, though, it's time for me to know. But the first to reach out. So this is Al. Okay. It was Blanca Tapuasco. It is sad that he's so far behind. As high. High as. For 25 years, Tapuasco has been a tutor. At one time for Baltimore City Schools. Bedelia. Bedelia. Mm -hmm. You notice that the word bed is there. When she saw Logan's story on Fox 45, she immediately offered to help. After assessing Logan and listening to him read, I have him at a, at a First grade, definitely kindergarten for math, okay? Once a week through June, Tapuasco has agreed to tutor Logan for one hour in math and reading. A. A. E. It's sad to say this, but he's not the one who's failing. It's someone didn't spend time enough to give him what he needs. So he's not in the failing stage. He's been pretty much left. Baltimore City Schools has a budget of $1.6 billion a year to educate students. Because now you know that A-L is pronounced Al. Tapuasco is tutoring Logan for free. So it is hope, because any improvement that you can make is a step for him forward. Why couldn't the school system do for Logan what you're doing now? They could. But his mom says they're not. I don't know what they offer or if they're offering anything. According to Watkins, the school system has offered nothing. She says no one from Baltimore City Schools has reached out. Not the principal, not the school board, not the CEO. No one. She hasn't heard from any of her elected officials in Baltimore City either. Something must be done. But some in Annapolis have taken notice. Kathy Schlega is a state delegate from Baltimore County and a former Baltimore City Schools teacher. You know, it's heartbreaking when we see student after student that are falling through the cracks. Baltimore City is facing a devastating reality. On Monday, following Project Baltimore's reports on state test scores, Schlager wrote this letter to members of the Accountability Board. The board is appointed by the governor to implement the blueprint for Maryland's future, a massive increase in education funding known as Kerwin. The letter references serious concerns, saying there are too many persistently failing schools in Maryland. It asks how the state will remedy the poor academic outcomes so students can be functionally literate. With all the money and everything we're investing into schools, they should get a great public education. Shop, shower. He's gonna grow up. He has to be a man. He has to be productive. And that's my main thing for him. Like, I just want better for you. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore.